What's up everyone? I'm Emerald Void, and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up the Pokemon Emerald National Dex Hack. Before we get started, I just want to say that all the links that I'll uh, be mentioning in this video will be linked in the description below, and we're going to go ahead and jump right on in. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that your Java is up to date. Now, in the documentation on the GitHub page for the National Dex hack, it doesn't specifically say that you need to do this, but in every other video that I've ever watched about setting up any other version of a Kaizo game, um, it does. A, a lot of them do say that you want to make sure that your Java is up to date, and, it, and it's just definitely a good idea to make sure that it's up to date anyway. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this link that's in the description, and you're going to find the operating system that you're using, whether it's Windows, Mac, or Linux, or Solaris. Uh, that I don't remember that ever being on there, but I also normally don't scroll down that far because it takes you here, and I just click the Windows version. And speaking of, I'm going to click the Windows Offline 64-bit because that is the version that I am using. And we are going to go ahead and download that. And what I did was I went ahead and made a folder uh, for the purposes of this video called Nat, uh, NatDex Tutorial, which is where I'm going to be saving all the files. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that JavaScript file into that folder, and then it'll take it like two seconds to get done downloading, and then we'll go ahead and get that installed. So here's the destination where I had that folder saved. You can see here it says the Win 64, um, Windows 64 EXE. And we're just going to go ahead and launch that. And I do apologize. I'm going to cut the sound out because it makes that Windows sound that is very loud. And we're going to double click that and install that. And it's going to ask you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. And you're just going to say yes. And then this window right here is going to pop up. It says welcome to Java update license terms. You're just going to click install and let it run through. I'm not going to do that because I've already gotten mine up to date. Basically, once you click install, there'll just be a little bar, like a progress bar, and once that gets done, your Java will be up to date, and you can go ahead and close this. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab the most up-to-date version of BizHawk. link for that will be in the description. And if you follow that link, it'll bring you here to releases, and whatever the very first release is, it'll have this little green latest uh, badge beside it that'll show you that that is the latest release. We want the 2.9.1, and we want, again, you just pick the one that you need for your operating system, Linux, Windows. I'm going to pick the Windows WinX64 zip, and you just click that, and again, I have that NAT, that NatDex tutorial folder, and I'm just going to go ahead and save the BizHawk install, or the BizHawk zip there. The next thing that you're going to want to get is on the Ironmon Emerald Nat Dex GitHub page, um, you're going to want to scroll to the bottom of the page, and there's going to be three files here that you're going to want to grab. You're, and you have to grab all of these to make sure that you can get this up and running correctly. You're going to grab the Emerald ND Ironmon Tracker Zip. That is the Ironmon Tracker that is made specifically to work with this ROM hack. It, and um, it, from my understanding, it will only work with this, so I do not believe that the other tracker will work with this. This is a custom fork of the tracker made specifically for this, so you definitely want to make sure that you grab this version of the tracker. Next thing you're going to want to grab is this Pokey Emerald End BPS file. That is your patch file for how you're actually going to patch your Emerald ROM. You're going to want to grab that, and you're going to want to grab this randomizer.jar. And again, this randomizer. Um, it doesn't say that it's specifically made for this Emerald hack, but just err on the side of caution. Go ahead and grab this and put it with the rest of your Emerald stuff. One thing that I will point out is under important notes, do not update the tracker. Do not enable fastest text because it will crash your game. And, ah, right here. The tracker and the randomizer are only intended for this hack, so it, they, the documentation recommends that you have a separate folder from all of your other Ironmon folders. And that's the three files here, the randomizer, the BPS, and the tracker. The last thing that I want to say before we um, actually get into 
um, getting the game set up. Right here where it says Guide. Everything that is uh, mentioned in the Emerald section of the Resources channel in the Ironmon Discord does apply to the Nat decks. And if you are not a member of the Ironmon Discord, I definitely recommend that you go check them out. I'll have the link for that in the description. Awesome group of people over there. Uh, they will answer any question that you have about any anything Ironmon related. Um, it's definitely a wonderful community and a wonderful group of people. Also, before we get into um, setting up the game, I do want to take a minute to shout out Zach from the Ironmon Discord. He definitely uh, he gave me a, f a few pointers on the very first one, the very first video that I recorded for this, um, and he gave me a few things that he had pointed out that were um, that were wrong in the first video. Appreciate it, and always um, always appreciate the input there. Also, fantastic member of the community has done a ton of work for the Ironmon community, and if you're looking, if you've played any other version of Kaizo, you have probably seen all of the stuff that he's done for the tracker, but I just wanted to take a minute to shout him out, and now we're going to go ahead and start setting up BizHawk, uh, patching the ROM, and getting the game set up. So going back on the NatDex GitHub page, right here, there's a how to patch thing here. Um, so all you have to do is go to the Patcher website, which it's in the description, but it's also on the GitHub page. You can just click that link, or you can, if you're following along with the video, you can just use the link that is in the video description. Then you add your base ROM, then you add the, in the first field, and then you add the BPS file in the second field. And you can use the Patcher website to check if you have the correct ROM. It should have a hash value of this, which I believe if that patch, uh, if the ROM you have does not have this ha this hash value, matching hash value, it won't actually let you um, patch the ROM. So you definitely, it will show you, uh, we'll get to it in a minute, but it will show you the hash value and you can just compare it to what's on the, in the, in the documentation. So here we are on the patcher site. So Right here where it says ROM file, you're just going to want to go ahead and choose file and add your ROM. Now, unfortunately, I cannot link you to any ROMs, but a quick Google sh uh, Google search should bring up everything that you need to know uh, and everything that you're looking for. Once you add your ROM file, you're going to go ahead and navigate to where you save that patch file and add that. So you'll just go choose file, and then you'll navigate to where you have that patch saved. Now, I'm just going to use the patch that I have set up from the previous tutorial uh, because it's the same. Wherever you save the, that BPS file is where you're going to want to go. You're just wanna, going to grab this Poke Emerald underscore end underscore V1 BPS. You're going to select Open. And when you add that, it's going to give you that green check mark beside the hash value. And as you can see, this hash value does match the hash value from the documentation. So then all you've got to do is click Apply Patch. It's going to go ahead and patch your ROM, and then it's going to bring it up for you to save. And then I have a folder that I've made. I have a ROMs folder, and then I have a patched ROM folder and an unpatched ROM folder. Definitely a good idea to save those in different locations. That way, if you need to patch the ROM for you know uh, something else completely, um, Say you're doing a you're you know you're not using the NAT decks, but you want to do a like an Emerald Nuzlocke or something. Definitely want to keep your unpatched ROM in a different place than your patched ROMs. We're gonna go here to patched. We're gonna just call this Emerald Patched, and we're gonna save it. And now we are gonna go set up BizHawk and the tracker. So here we are in our folder where we've got everything saved. You see here we've got the tracker and we've got BizHawk. So for BizHawk, if you're you're going to want to use WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip, something like that that can uncompress this file. And I'm going to extract it. Uh, right click, extract to BizHawk. That way it puts it in its own contained folder with all of the files in it. Now for the tracker, it already has a folder inside of it that is, you know, got all of the files. So for that, I'll just right click and extract here. 
and it's going to make that tracker folder. And then we just launch BizHawk. And in the previous version of the video, I went through the randomizer um, jar and did that. But you can actually, um, you do still need to download this jar file, even though you're not going to be randomizing it through the jar file. You're actually going to be using the tracker to randomize your files. So one thing that I am going to do is I am going to turn the sound off in the simulator because it will be really loud if I don't. And we're just going to go to where we have our patched ROM here. And we're just going to drag and drop it into the emulator. You can also go to File, Open ROM, navigate to where you have that ROM saved and load it up. And this is just the vanilla game. There's been nothing added to it. It's not been randomized or patched yet. Or it has been patched. It has not been randomized. And we're going to go ahead and add the tracker to this. So to add the tracker, you just go to Tools. You go to Lua Console. And that'll pull up your Lua Console here. And then you're going to want to go to where this little folder is at. You're going to want to click that. And then you're going to want to navigate to your folder where you have your tracker saved. You're going to want to open Tracker Main. And you'll see a file called ironmontracker.lua. You're just going to want to click that and click Open. And then it's going to bring up this screen here with a tracker. And it's going to have release notes. And it'll say End Ironmon Tracker. Let's go ahead and close those. And just for quality of life, one thing that I like to do is I like to go to View Window Size and set that to 3x, where it's just a little bit bigger. And before we move on to uh, how we actually will randomize our seeds, um, if you were to close the emulator right now, when you launched it again, the tracker would not load, and you would have to manually load that tracker file again, that Lua script. The way that you keep from having to load that script every single time is once you have it loaded the, the very first time, just go to File, go to Recent Scripts, Go to Auto Load Script. You click that. Then go to Settings. Go down to Auto Load with EmuHawk. Now, every time that you launch EmuHawk, it's going to open your Lua console. And when you launch the game, it's going to open your tracker. All right, the next thing that, you're, that we're going to set up here is how to actually use the tracker to randomize your ROMs. So the first thing you'll do is in the right corner here, you're going to click that cog. And there's going to be a box that says New Runs. It's going to be yellow. You're going to click that. And then it says Generate ROM each time. You're going to check that. Whoops. And it's, you notice it's going to have a lot of X's here. So you're going to have your randomizer jar, your source ROM, and your settings file. Now the randomizer jar, again, it does have to be the... Um, the jar file that you downloaded from the NatDex GitHub. You cannot use the other randomizer. You have to use the one from the GitHub page. It is made specifically for this hack. So you're going to grab that randomizer jar. You're going to click Open. Then for Source ROM, it is going to be your patched ROM that, you, um, that you've already patched. So you'll go to where you have your ROM saved. And you're going to grab that. And then for your settings file, for this, it's good if it should automatically take you to where it's located. But if for some reason that it doesn't, you're just going to want to navigate to where you have your NatDex tracker saved. Again, the tracker does have to be the one that come from that GitHub, from the National Dex GitHub, for compatibility reasons. And you're going to go into the tracker main. And then when you get in there, you're going to look for Ironmon underscore tracker. You're going to open that. And then you're going to see a folder that says randomizer settings. You're going to open that. And then you're going to have five files here. And you just pick the one that you, there's ultimate survival, there's items, doubles, and just emerald nat decks. So you're just going to pick whichever one of these you want to randomize. I just want the regular Kaizo emerald nat decks. You're going to click that. And you're going to click open. And now every time you press A, B, and start, 
it is going to generate a new random it's going to randomize this emerald patched gba rom every single time versus you having to go through the actual and do it manually through the jar all right so as you can see it says attempts two basically when you load that rom in for the first time it is just going to be the patched rom with no randomization once you load it in and press start B and A, it'll randomize it. And if you're a stickler, you can just click on the number two in attempts and put zero. And then this will be your first randomized uh, attempt. Just go ahead and press start and we'll go ahead and see if it randomized our Pokemon for us. So that randomized the item. That's a Chesto Berry, Manectric, Porygon. And then we'll just do one more, just for testing purposes here. Max Ether. And if we go check here, Slaking, Skitty, Makarko. And on the way to the rival fight, so I can show you that, we ran into a, a Tornadus. So, you know, just running around in the grass here. Jellicent. Then see, there's a Jellicent. And then you just go up to the rival. We'll fight the rival. And as you can see, you're level 5, your rival's level 8, and he took the Skitty because we took the Slaking, which is illegal, by the way. Um, but just, just for the purposes of the video, you know, it, it, everything is working like it's supposed to. And he is the... the the rival is the level that he is supposed to be. It is normally you're level 5 and they're level 8. Just as Kaizo was intended to be played. And that's going to be it for the video tutorial, guys. Hopefully this one was a little bit more informative and a little bit more uh, to the point. And, and I cut out a bunch of the, the nonsense from the first one that, um, that you, you really didn't need to do. But uh, hopefully, you know, this will be, this is everything that, you know, will help you get it all set up. Again, if you haven't yet, go check out the Ironmon Discord. It's definitely um, the best place to go if you have any questions concerning Kaizo. And I'll be playing this on stream, so uh, you can, if you want, you can come by twitch.tv slash emeraldvoid. I'll be playing this a pretty good bit here in the future, just because it is super cool. And hopefully this video helped you out. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.